You don't drop out of school. Why do you want to leave school? I dropped out of university to become a coconut farmer. I actually don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I am a student at Georgia Tech. I know, it doesn't seem like I'm in university because of everything I've been doing. Sorry, mom. Um, sorry, dad. And when the whole COVID thing happened, I decided to leave America and come back to my hometown, Ghana. End up being over. When I came back to Ghana, I decided to invest in coconut farming. I don't know why I do all these random things. I started a YouTube channel, I started investing in a coconut farm. So technically, maybe yes, I did drop out of college to become a coconut farmer. I, I think that's a pretty good title for this video. You guys are gonna have to watch till the end so I can explain the full story behind it. Good morning guys, I am doing a quick intro to today's vlog because I'm currently on my way to go and pick up Vanessa I don't know if you guys remember this, about a year and a half ago I bought land in Ghana to start my coconut farm Ghana is a country in West Africa which is also where I'm from It typically takes about 3 years for it to harvest so I don't know how far it's gotten to Honestly, I'm not expecting too much, I've heard that it's, some of them are starting to grow A lot of them have died so we have to replant them The thing is, with a lot of things in life, patience is key I don't know what I'm saying. It's 5 a.m. Alright guys, I bought some buff roads. Here you go, first bite. Also, Vanessa's here. Hi! My farm is pretty far from the city. We go on this four-hour car ride to my farm. And honestly, this is my favorite part about going on road trips and being a YouTuber, right? A lot of people focus on the destination. But, you're supposed to focus on the journey. Wow! Honestly, I think from this day, my favorite part was the car ride. We just have such nonsense, stupid conversations, but we also have a lot of meaningful conversations. <laughs> I actually feel like a child because I've not got any makeup on. No, you actually look like a child when you do. I think that's why I have to wear makeup so people like don't think I'm 16. <laughs> no, remember I told you that morning in Abidjan that you literally <laughs> look like a child. Fresh faced. Although I have been actually like moisturizing my face and like wearing right now I have like a sort of SPF moisturizer Give on. us your skincare routine but that's I right. mean it, it's just washing my face Not that I didn't wash my face before <laughs> You know Korean skincare has like 10 steps, some of them Really cool Yeah Have you done it before? Oh my gosh, I've please do a video it. which is like about, 10 steps? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that I'll do that just for you Vanessa I have goals in my life okay. And I feel like I set 25 and 30 25 it was to have two kids and not no be small goals <laughs> have two wanted kids, two kids be married and have a house I, I smashed it at 25 and now <laughs> But also just say I smashed it at 25 I smashed it at 25 and now I'm gonna be 30 I have like very big goals for 30 and it's mo a couple months away But that doesn't like Wait, is it by 30 or in your by 30? Uh, and obviously 30 is fast approaching, mm -hmm. so I know that time's limited, but at the same time, I feel like I'm so, so grateful to see 30 years of life. Aww. And, uh, <laughs> we're, by the way, we're at a police check. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've been stopped by the police and basically the boot doesn't open so it's a bit of a problem because they need to see inside the boot but the boot doesn't open. I'm grateful, obviously I'm so happy to have my kids. I had my son when I was 20, so when I'm 30. That's insane, you were two years younger than me when you had your son. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so I mean to be honest, like my kids are definitely like the biggest, my biggest goal and the biggest thing that I've achieved in my life. Aww. And I don't think that anything can Aww. be bigger than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but apart from Unless that, you have a third kid. Well, me. <laughs> nah, Building a house is like this this year's goal. Mm, mm. So no, I think it will happen. It will happen. I think it's cool how you set um, goals for your different ages. Mm -hmm. I should probably do that. <laughs> no, but I think people think I'm older now because I hang out with you. Oh, right. it's got that influence. Oh, really? Well, Vanessa actually looks like a child. Like when she's just um, woken up in the morning. Each Maybe day. we'll try it today. I'll say I'm 19. And I'll see if. <laughs> no, I think you can't talk. Really? Yeah. When you talk. I think I said old. I don't think you saw <laughs> You just said old was 29. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. You <laughs> said she's old, and then you went, oh, she's actually your age. No. No guys, that's not what I said. 29 is not old. 60 is old. I'm just kidding. If you're 60, don't be offended. 99 is old. I'm sorry, if you're 99 and you're watching this, you're old. Cool. Now that I've not offended anyone. I don't know, let's say I called you and I'm oh, like, yeah. Hi. 
I just got arrested. I would think it was a prank to start off with. <laughs> and then if it wasn't a prank... So obviously I would never do a prank like that because it, it looks too obvious. Like this is what I mean. Like mm. if I were to ever prank you, Vanessa, trust me, you would not know. I don't know. I'm like, I I, I think I would know. I don't think I you think would I'm know. smart. I don't think you would know. Like, I think I'm just too good at lying. <laughs> Is it a common thing for you? No, but I think I'll be good at like acting or like. <laughs> Why are you I tried to eat this and <laughs> so oh that. Um, Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I think we've been given a get out of jail free card. Oh, so what would you do if I was legitimately like arrested? arrested. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would depend on the circumstances, but obviously I'd try and help you, but I don't know how much I'd be able to help you. Okay, what if I called you and said, my enemies are after me? <laughs> And, and I need twenty thousand dollars to CDs. secure safe housing because they're after me. I'd say just come to my house. <laughs> no, but that will put both I've of us in danger. No, it's fine. And I've I don't got, want I'll to put, put your you. kids got, at jeopardy. No, I've got like a little that little like um, Harry Potter <laughs> sort of room. <laughs> but yeah, I would just invite you to be with me. I'll keep my twenty thousand in my pocket. <laughs> have you watched Tinder Swindler? Yeah, I have. It was it was really good, but it was it's just so sad that people obviously take advantage of people like that. He makes them feel like they're his girlfriend mm. and that he absolutely loves them and then all of a sudden it turns left. But mm. he does it with so many different people. I do yeah. think that like dating is a whole I don't I don't even know what to call it, but it's like a minefield basically. Because you just don't know who's who. Some people <laughs> You just don't know people. No, Some 100%. people really don't have your best interest at heart. So we're currently still on the way to the farm and something funny is happening. Okay, so basically this bridge in front of us is broken apparently. Ghana, we'd love to see it. Okay. Yeah, feed it up. Feed it up. They waste the vlog. Never wear sunglasses, but I thought today I would be different. I'm going on a TV show, aka Vanessa's channel. <laughs> this is about to be one sweaty vlog. I'm already sweating. It's so. Yeah, but it's gonna be a great tanning day. It's gonna be a great yeah, show to, the, to tan. I know. In Ghana, down. you just have to exist. Yeah! I feel like Dora the Explorer. You know, I would normally not get. I feel like I'm going on a field trip now because of Vanessa. Look at no guys, look. Look at how prepared she is. The boots. Yeah, no, the I'm bag and a backpack for the content. Go and subscribe to her. The way this bridge works is you have to park your car, walk across the bridge, and take a taxi from the other side. This taxi, I mean, I've never seen a car with such high. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think hydration is overrated. How can you carry a whole bottle? Oh, yeah. I don't think they're a joke, but I don't think you're sticking. <laughs> Stop, Vanessa! We just got to the farm and I don't know what Vanessa thinks she's doing. Ah, is this my farm? Oh, what, what, what? I thought I was made for this. But... Vanessa, why did you ever think you were made for this? If there's one person that's not made for this, it's you. Amazing. Wow. So basically, when I started my farm, I filmed two videos on my farm already. The first time I visited my farm, it was pure forest. There were just trees. You could see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there were just trees. You couldn't tell where the land begun. The second time we visited the land, they actually cleared everything, but none of the seeds were planted. It was just. Everything was cleared and now we were ready to start the journey. Good morning! Look at this crazy, all oh, this land. Then I left Ghana to go to Japan. I don't know if you guys have watched my Japan vlogs, but those vlogs are actually pretty good too, so I think you should check those out. Now that I'm back finally in Ghana, this is my third time ever visiting the farm and 
and I'm actually really excited. We got to the land and I'm so excited to show you what it looks like because I've documented the entire journey of buying the land, planting the coconut seed and obviously I'm going to try to document it until it harvests, selling it, how this is going to either make me money, fingers crossed, or if things go wrong, I'm also going to document that. These lines of trees planted all the way down is the line of where my land ends and this is what the land looks like there's plantain and coconuts planted around here this is plantain for sure there's about 180 coconut trees and there's about two and a quarter acres of land it's my little baby i petted it like an animal I think I feel like this is my baby and it's growing. Is this what having children feels like? All you can see is trees. I know. Upon trees, upon trees, yeah. on coconut trees. But also, it's such a great investment. Great idea. If you want to see me spend a night on my farm, drop a like and subscribe. Are you gonna bring um, a tent? If you're adventurous, Vanessa. <laughs> I, I wonder can't... what what animals you would find in the night. I think the content will be hilarious. Yeah, no, it really especially is. with you, <laughs> the explorer. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for the rainy season to come before we replant a lot of the trees. A couple of my coconut trees had died because of ant infestations, and I'm just like, why? Why would the ants do this to me? To be fair, I kill a lot of ants. I'm sorry. I don't have anything against them. They just come into me. I, I, they don't come into me. I mean, they just invade my space. So many things interesting happen. At first, the bridge was broken. You guys already saw that. The taxi that we got into was very, very fascinating. Then the taxi got stuck in a man-made wooden log bridge. This is what has happened to the bridge. Keep on waiting for us, huh? Waiting for and if you guys know me, you guys know my favorite part of the day is the part where we go back to the shade. The, honestly, it was so hot. I don't know what's uh, happening with Ghana. Even as I'm sitting outside right now to film this little narration, it's so hot and I'm starting to sweat. But anyways, my favorite part of the day is to get out of the sun and eat the food. You guys know that my favorite part of coming to check out my farm each time is drinking and eating after we're done. It was a fun day. I'm glad I got to go with Vanessa. Just a random little adventure. I got to film a video for our channel. Now, going back to the point of dropping out of college. Have I really dropped out of college? Mm, not really. I mean, I'm not really sure. Maybe my school thinks I have. After COVID happened, I came back to Ghana and that's the same time I became sick. If you guys don't know about my whole autoimmune condition, that whole journey, there's a bunch of videos on my channel. You can go check that out. I stopped going to school because I was sick, but also because I wanted to do YouTube. But being sick kind of made it easier for me to convince my parents that I should be taking semesters off. And I took a semester off, I took another semester off, and I took like a third semester off. And currently, I don't even know how many semesters I've taken off, but my friends are graduating in May, so clearly, um, I've taken enough semesters off. And I wanted to announce at the end of this video, I'm actually going back to school this year. Yes, mom, I am going back to school. I can see you smiling as you watch this video. Now, the reason why I'm going back to school, you guys know my channel tagline is Dare to Dream. And by the way, we need to change that tagline. I love it, I really do. And I know you guys love it too, but apparently someone smarter than me has already thought of it and it's already copyrighted. So I need you guys to comment down below this video. What should be our channel's tagline that represents the theme of the channel? But for now, we're still gonna use Dare to Dream. And I always share my goals and my dreams with you guys and the things that I want to accomplish. And one of the things I've mentioned from the beginning of my channel is to live in New York. So this year, I am going back to school so that I can live in New York City and create content while making my brain more educated. I'm gonna be applying to some schools and the plan is to go back to school in fall, in August. So from August, I'm gonna be living in New York. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I think we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm actually hoping that we'll hit 100,000 subscribers tomorrow and I'm going to be going live on YouTube until we do. So stay tuned, turn on your post notifications so that you can come and hop on the live and we can celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers together. Oh, my legs. I was literally squatting the whole time because I'm short, 
I mean, no, I'm seven feet tall. My jawlines, I cannot complain. Got a Mac and like they all mine. Uh, 